my name is Dixie. And I'm Granny. Welcome. making dreamsicle cake and that's how her handwriting you can tell how old it is they don't even make that kind of paper no more okay this is Mimo and tonight I'm making brown sugar pies Jessica or Forrest has never had a brown sugar pie so my mama used to make these all the time when we were growing up. So I'm going to make brown sugar pies. I've got my ingredients. I've got a half a cup of flour, four cups of milk, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, three tablespoons of cornstarch, and about five egg yellows. I'll save my whites for tomorrow so I can make my meringue. And it takes, we don't, I don't measure, so I use a half a bag of brown sugar. So, I'm going to make brown sugar pies, and when I get it started mixed up, then I'll get back with you. Okay, I'm going to take and pour a half a bag of brown sugar in my pot. A half a cup of flour. Three tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm going to mix this up really good because anytime you use flour, you got to mix it up or you'll end up getting a bunch of lumps in it before I put my wet ingredients. So when I get ready for my wet ingredients, I'll get back with you. Okay, now I'm going to pour in my milk. I'm going to slowly pour it in because I want to make sure I get all the lumps out of my flour and my cornstarch. Mix it in with my brown sugar. Add my egg yellows. I'm gonna hold my whites for my meringue tomorrow. Ready to bake my pie shell so they'll be ready when it gets ready to just dump it in. So when this starts to bubble, I will get back with you. Uh, thickening is starting to thicken up a little bit. And so I'm going to pour about a half a teaspoon of vanilla in. And the same way I'll do here with, as I did with the chocolate pie, it just starts bubbling around the sides and I'm going to add a little bit of butter to smooth that out. But once it starts working and gets to where it's starting to bubble and get thick, it will thicken up in just a little, very few little few minutes. I mean, it's just like you got to really keep on it or it will start sticking. It's starting to get really thick, so it's getting harder to stir. So when it starts bubbling, just like it does with the chocolate pie, then I'll go ahead and transfer it over into my pie shells. And that's kind of what this looks like, is, is pudding, if you want to see. So my 
thickening is ready and I'm going to go ahead and transfer it into my pie shells. That's all you got to do to make brown sugar pies. And we'll let it cool and it'll be ready for tomorrow. This is the ingredients. I use sugar, the egg whites that's uh, at room temperature. I'll beat those real good. I'll add some sugar. And I really don't measure when I do that. I kind of do by the taste. I want it sweet, but I don't want it super sweet. And I got some cream of tartare. I put uh, about a half a teaspoon of it in and a little bit of vanilla flavoring. And I put some marshmallow cream in mine. Most people don't, but I do because a lot of times if you do meringue, the next day when you go to eat it, all the meringue's kind of moving to the center and it's kind of watery or sticky on the outside. But if you'll use marshmallow cream, it all stays in place and it doesn't move around and your meringue stays a lot better. So once I get this all mixed up, and get it ready for the oven. I'll show you a picture of it before I put it in the oven and then after. Okay, my meringue's starting to get fluffy, so I'm going to add my sugar and my cream of tartare and my vanilla flavoring first. And then I'm going to let it beat up. Okay, I'm going to add my cream of tartare to it and that just kind of gets it to hold together good and keeps it white and I'm going to start blending it Okay, you see how it's kind of fluffy on the end and will stand up? That's what you want. So now I'm going to add a oh, about a good spoonful of marshmallow cream. Okay, this is before I put it in the oven, and this is what it looks like when you, it comes out of the oven. Okay, I have my two brown sugar pies made, and I will put them in the fridge so they'll be really cold when everybody comes to eat after a while. And they turned out pretty good. I hope they like them. So does it taste like your mom's? What? Does it taste like the ones you used to eat growing up? Yeah. 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 Dixie's uh, meringue with all that cream of tartare that she put on there. <laughs> Cause let me tell you folks, it's cream of tartar. It ain't cream of tartar. <laughs> oh, you won't find that on all three, I'll guarantee it. Yeah, that's good. Can I have a lemon one next time? <laughs> lemon pie. I love lemon pie. I'll make a lemon pie next time. This is my first time eating a brown sugar pie. Best pie in the world. Sunday, we always walk to church. I went to church, we went home and ate lunch. 
and they had a bunch of me, a bunch of girls would get together and we would walk all around Chinkapin and back out the lane, come home, get ready and go back to church. But you know, at one time I lived to sing it. But I always got up there giggling. <laughs> and when I look back at it, Mama, I knew I'd had it when I got home. But we always sang in church. Phyllis would play the piano, and me and Elwin and Joanne and Phyllis would always sing in church. We had two pair of good bloomers. We had a good pair of bloomers to wear to the doctor, and we had church bloomers. And then, bloomers and that's the only real good pair we had. The ones with the ruffles on my butt. That's church bloomers. The fancy panties. Yeah. Well, we went to church. And Aunt Trilla was our Sunday school teacher. And she made Dixie read every, every Sunday because she knew Dixie couldn't read. But we went to church and we come home and took her good clothes off. A lot of times we went to visit uh, Mama Persinger, which was my daddy's Mama. But when we went down there, we had to be good. We couldn't go get anything out of the kitchen and eat. We had to sit on the front porch. So we would sneak around the house and we would climb up on the roof of this little garage she's got. And they had a donkey named Jenny and had a big old huge pile of horses in there. So we would climb up on the top of that garage and we would jump off in that pile of horse manure and roll everywhere. And then when she went looking, we'd sneak in our strawberry patch and steal the strawberries because oh, she, she would not let you in the, the strawberry patch. Mm. But we, everybody would watch for her and see where she was and somebody'd go gather a few and run back and then we'd eat them with send them somebody else out. <laughs> Mama always cooked. We usually had uh, we had chicken and dumplings or we would have uh, meatloaf or you know, Mama just always cooked and I'll always had plenty of desserts and then if I didn't come home I would go up to my friend's house up on the hill. They didn't even have electricity then. But the, they always had beef pips and potatoes and biscuits, and I thought that was so good. But we always, we always had plenty to eat whenever we were hungry. 